So this video may or may not be of any benefit to anyone and technically speaking this information doesn't even need to be in video format yet here we are so if resolution weighed against frames per second gets your heart pumping stick around as we crunch some numbers in OpenVR benchmark. I'm going to go through results of three headsets, starting with the Quest 2 as a kind of baseline because obviously it's a very popular headset and many people with one may be thinking of jumping into PC VR, which may or may not be a Pimax Crystal and it may just give an indication as to how well their PC may fare at the higher end of things. And then I'll give results for the 8KX, not only because I've got one lying around, so why not, but it does make sense. Some people are wondering about sacrificing the FOV for the PPD, which is of course very subjective for me. Yes, I don't really want to go back to the 8KX, still an awesome headset, but uh, I am loving the crystal at the moment. And lastly, obviously I'll get the results for the crystal itself. Right, so first off, the system specs, it's a 4090 with a 13900K, neither of which are overclocked, and 32 gigs of DDR5. Now, this is a benchmark, so it's not about trying to hit 90 FPS or whatever. It's literally pushing them, and it's for numbers to compare against each other. Um, so it's no point comparing your results to mine unless you've got the same system specs. If you do and get wildly different results, please let me know. So first up here is the Quest 2 on virtual desktop running at ultra streaming settings. So the point is if you play the Quest 2 on those settings, uh, any other headset here that comes up with results around about that number, you'll be able to run that fine on whatever setting that is at the time. I'll go through it you know, as this goes along, but I'm sure if you're watching this video you know how to take these numbers, what they mean. So the link cable, I don't personally use the link cable, but that's 100% super sampling, which is quite low, and I'm sure most people are super sampling, but I'm just putting it there in case that is how you run it. And you can uh, yeah compare for yourself, uh, for example. So that there shows that, you know, you need a beefier performance to run. Virtual desktop at ultra settings in simple terms link cable at 200 percent i'm sure that's more in line with how people would use it you are going to use some super sampling really uh, with the link cable my quest 2 is just for wireless use really uh, i have a virtual desktop so that's all i thought i'd test for the quest 2 to give us a baseline now jumping on to the 8kx so this is a 75% super sampling, not how I'd run it, I always run it 100. Um, and normal FOV, I don't use the large because the very edges, I don't see the point. The, F the FPS hit, it just, it, it's not worth it. So normal FOV, which is awesome, and lower super sampling, only 75% with parallel projection off, which some games are fine with. So you can see you know comparisons if you can run one can you run the other and there it is again 75 percent with parallel projection on which is a big hit unfortunately but it's something we've got to put up with with wide field of view headsets at the moment with the pimax um not every game but uh unfortunately still some too many in my opinion uh yeah you can see quite a, quite a big drop nearly 30, uh, you know, nearly a third. Okay, so this is how I'd usually run it. Normal FOV, 100% super sampling. PP off if I can. Um, but unfortunately, like Ultra High Blister 2, for example, you have to have PP on. Uh, which is frustrating. Marks of Flight Simulator now, you don't, which is fantastic. You don't need it on anymore. Uh, so next, we're going to see. Um, 100% super sampling with PP on. So you can see it is a massive, massive drop there. So that's sort of really worst case scenario. Um, you could run at large FOV, but I don't, I don't think many people do. It's not really worth it. So that is sort of worst case scenario, if that makes sense. That number. Which brings us to the crystal. So you can see running at balanced. Now I do run it at balanced because it looks fantastic. 
It's such a big hit going to 100% sampling. I can do it, and it, it does look better, but for me personally, and it's subjective, I don't think it's so much better that I need to. I'm happy with balanced. And if you're not, that's fine. You don't need to say, oh, what are you doing? If you, what, whatever you're good with, you do you, you know? But 75% looks great. And so you can see from those figures, for example, if you could run an 8KX at 100% super sampling with PP on, you'll easily run the crystal um, at balanced. But you can see it here at 100% super sampling. You know, it's, it's native resolution here. The number <laughs> is taking a dramatic drop. So, uh, it would have been interesting actually to put the large FOV at 100%. Maybe it would be more in line with that last figure, knowing you could, if you if you can run the 8KX at large FOV at 100% um, and be fine with it, then I'm sure you'll, you'll manage with the crystal there at 100%. Anyway, so that's that. Um, as I say, it's probably not relevant to a lot of people. It's a bit of nonsense, but I like to do it take from these numbers what you can any questions or comments drop them below and i'll always try to answer otherwise that'll do it for now and i'll catch you later cheers What are you still doing here? It's not the MCU.